In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a WooCommerce order form, aka bulk order form, step by step. Here is an example of an order form I created earlier. As you can see, it's a lot more convenient for our customers to quickly find and filter the products in which they require. You can easily select the quantity, tick add to cart, and it's just a way more faster and smoother experience for a user to quickly find what they want and go ahead to the checkout purchase and make their checkout. Here's another example of an order form I created with some additional filters such as category filtering. Again, we can change how many products we want to see per page. And in here, we've conveniently got the shopping cart so they can see exactly what it is they're adding to their basket. Again, it's a way more user-friendly experience than the default system of having to go to your shop and browse the entire store. Then clicking on the individual products and then ordering. It's a lot of clicking back and forth. So this is why a one page order form is so powerful and effective. If you want to create a similar order form, I'm going to show you how to create it in three simple steps. Step one in creating your WooCommerce order form is to go ahead and download the Optimize Form Core plugin. You can get that from optimizeform.com slash YouTube. When you put that slash YouTube at the end, you will get it free for an entire month. So go ahead and go to optimizeform.com slash YouTube, click get free and enter in your detail and you'll be able to download the plugin. I've already got it downloaded. Navigate to your WordPress dashboard. Then you want to navigate to plugin, add it new, upload, and then you choose the file that you just downloaded is here. Click install. Once it's installed, then you want to click activate. I won't go ahead and do that because I've already got it installed. Once it's installed and activated, you'll notice this optimize form plugin uh, menu here. Then you want to click activate. When you click download at optimizeform.com slash YouTube and you go ahead and download the plugin, you'll be given a license key. And this is where you'll enter it. So you just enter your license key and then you'll want to click active. I mean, activate. And then you'll be able to access the various different modules. And for this example, to create our order form, we want to go ahead and install the optimize form product table. So you want to inst click install. Just like here, install would be here, but I've already got it installed and activated. Once it's installed, it'll be switched to off and then you want to switch this to on just like here. Okay, switch it back on. And once you switch switched it on, you'll see this manage menu here. You can go ahead and click manage to mess with the default setting. But for this video, I'm not going to mess with that. So step two in the process is then to create a, a dedicated page in which we're going to host our WooCommerce order form. So you want to navigate to new and then page. You can also do it here and then you can call it what you want. We'll um, call this one bulk order. And currently I'm using Elementor. You can use the default um, WordPress system if you like. I'm going to go ahead and click edit with Elementor. And then the final step is to, I'll show you in just a second. So here I'm in Elementor. I'm just going to create a new section. Um, yep. With this layout, I'm going to add a new text area. And then we're just going to add our short code here. So the default short code is brackets and then it's product underscore table. And that should give us our default one page order form. So currently I don't like how it's squashed together. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this column, delete this column. Let's hit publish and preview it. And there we go. So in less than a few minutes, We've actually created our 
product order form and we can customize it a bit further. So here we've got a few filters activated by default. So the only filters I've got on this site is the size of filter of the bottles, so small to large, and you can go ahead and sort it. It's a more streamlined experience for your customers to be able to quickly find a product that they need and add it to cart all on one page. So it reduces that back and forth navigation between products. Here's another example I created. And this one, if you notice, this is full width without a cart field here. So you can't see how much um, products you've actually got in your cart unless you navigate to your cart. So for example, if I click add to cart, then you'll be presented with this option to view your cart and then you'll be able to view it. There we go. Whereas on this um, example, you can see we've got our cart here and we can see exactly what's in our cart and also the total. And we can go ahead and remove items from our cart here. There we go. So I'm going to click edit with Elementor. Again, I'm using Elementor. However, the same short codes we're using can work with the default um, WordPress setup. So you don't have to use Elementor. You can use Glutenberg, the Divi Builder, or um, what, whatever you use to create your pages. So here's the short code. So as you can see, the default short code we created was brackets and product table, if you remember correctly. So see, in this example, we've actually extended the short code and added a few more. We've customized it a bit further. So here, as you can see, we're specifying the column. So what we want to show here, we're showing the image name category and the add to cart button. And we're also setting the size the image size to 200 pixel by 150 pixel. And we've also turned on the filters. You can set this to false, which will turn off the um, filters. You can learn more about the customization options by visiting the optimized form documentation page. The link is located within the optimized form plugin. So you can go ahead and click need help or click the support tab and it will show you all the different fields in which you can customize this table. So again, like in this example, we're, at, we're actually displaying the SKU code. And I'm gonna show you whilst we're on this page how I did that. So all I did was basically added a new column called SKU. Let's update this. There we go. As you can see, we're now showing at this SKU code. And with regards to the cart here, it's just simple, simply the default um, WooCommerce cart widget. So in Elementor, I just search cart and here it is. So it's just a default WordPress cart and you just drag and drop it here. We can change the um, editing if you want. So we could name it something like basket. And you can move it to wherever you want. I think it looks fine where it is currently. So I'm going to leave it there. But that's pretty much it. That's how you create a WooCommerce order form in three simple steps. So just to recap, step one is to download the optimized form core plugin. Step two, go ahead and upload and install the optimized form core plugin. And then step three is to just create a dedicated page, or if you've got an existing page, just go ahead and add the short code brackets in brackets, product underscore table. And that's it. You'll have your order form in literally just a few clicks as well. You can, you can filter. For example, if you only if you wanted to pick and choose which products you wanted to show on this order form, so if you only wanted to show a set of products on this order form, you can go ahead and do that via the product ID, or even if you want to um, only show certain categories on this order form, you can go ahead and do that again. But I'll create a separate video showing going a bit deeper on the different things you can do with this order form.
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more video like this. And again, the URL to download the Optimize Form core plugin is optimizeform.com slash YouTube. Please leave a comment in the description below if there's anything you'd like me to cover further in more detail.